Hey guys, how's it going? I'm working on the Galaxy again. Trying to get some, uh, or trying to get this thing painted this week. Oh, I left this light on. But my plan for the bodywork on this thing, as you can see, there's not much paint left. Just a little bit down low. And this is pretty uh, rough to the touch. And my plan for all this rusty sheet metal is POR15. I'm going to give that a shot. I bought a gallon of it. And I believe I'm going to brush it. I'll see if I like that. If not, I'll, I might experiment with rolling it. But POR stands for paint over rust. So we're going to give that a shot. I am going to clean it up a little bit with the sander first. Hopefully that POR15 will kind of fill in these little pits. You know, and then I can sand down the POR and put my finish coat. Luckily, I don't have to put POR on the hood or trunk since I already have a uh, good base coat. This is original paint, so should be good. I worked on the trunk uh, and I didn't film it, so this is an update on that. Fixed my rusty hole in here. This is uh, where the rust out was. As you can see, there's a panel. I just use sheet metal screws to attach. And this is, I cut the floor pan out of the 67 parts car out there in the yard. Just cut the hole bigger than the trunk. Sheet metal screwed it. Used seam sealer to seal it up. Um, used some more seam sealer on some little pinholes of rust. And then shot everything with undercoat. And oh, and the old rust underneath I had POR 15 on, did the whole trunk floor with that. So I'm happy with it. This ain't no show car. I just am really itching to get this thing on the road. So it's getting late in the day. Um, I didn't start real early, but I still want to get a good bit more done before I leave today. Whether that means I gotta get the spotlights out or whatever I need to do. So I'm gonna get back to work. So I've got my masking good enough for the uh, POR15 I'm gonna use. I've already sanded and blowed off and kind of wiped everything. I'm not going crazy on the prep work. Um, I imagine if I wanted to get real crazy, I would wash this. You can still see some some residue on here but the POR 15 is supposed to grab onto that rust so I haven't prepped the hood and trunk I'm gonna wait to prep that when I'm ready to paint the sandpaper I used was 120 that's just because that's the coarsest grid I had on hand. I haven't decided. I'm, I've got a roller. Um, some of these foam rollers, I don't know. Probably, I don't know. I'm worried about the metal that's kind of rough shredding and the, the foam and getting little bits of foam in my primer. So if I don't like it, I'll use a brush. But. I'll just play that by ear. Now it's time to get some POR 15 put on the car.
Okay guys, that's the next day. This POR15 has had a chance to, to uh, cure. As you can see, you can still see the imperfections in the metal through it. So I'm hoping I can sand, make that better. If not, we might do a skim coat of filler. I haven't decided yet. There's still some things I need to address before it's ready for paint. Obviously, I gotta finish my masking. Little holes like this. Or actually, I think this is the worst of it. That's odd. Not sure why the roof looks like that. Maybe I didn't put a thick enough layer on that part of the roof, I don't know. I have to put seam sealer in my drip rails. Something that I'm not sure how I want to handle yet. The underside of this trunk needs to get painted too. And I'm trying to figure out, can I leave it on the car to do the underside? You know, prep it, paint the underside, maybe just kind of pull it down and spray the rest of it. Or just say, you know, whatever, and just shut it while it's wet. I don't know. Got to decide what I want to do with that. But at least it looks less rusty. We do have some dings in the door that are more visible now. Not sure if I'm going to put body filler on that or not or just be okay with it. This is not a professional paint job, as you might have noticed. So, when I get done with this thing, I just want it to be one color. I had planned on doing a white roof. I don't know if I have time to do that today. But dang, look at all these bugs that got attracted to this POR. That's crazy. It's because it was curing overnight. Right when the bugs were coming out. So. <clears throat> sandpaper will get all that. Alrighty, I'm going to get back to my prep work. So I've done a lot of sanding and a little bit of body filler and stuff on the on the parts that bother me the most. I'm not getting real particular about it as you can see. You know, there's still texture to it that's going to show up through the red paint, but I just want it to be one color. I'm not being picky about it. It's getting real close to time to paint. It's like 74 or 5 something like that out here low humidity sun bright up in the sky perfect painting weather so hopefully if i go on and get it painted it'll be early enough that it'll dry before the bugs get to it so it's just the uh, struggle of painting in your backyard so i got some more masking i got to do then wipe everything down with some towels and uh, try to get this dust off of it. The paint I'm using is paint I got off eBay. It was just a cheap uh, kit. I think it was like a hundred bucks. Hold on, the receipt was in here. It was, I bought white and red. I'm just using the red right now. $105 a piece. So. So it looks like eight parts paint, one part hardener, and then one to two parts of reducer. And then this is gonna be high gloss bright red. Here's the reducer. Here's the hardener. The kit came with these stirring sticks, filter, and little cups. So in the past when I've mixed paint, I just kind of wing it, make it, you know, I don't use all these measuring marks on here, but I got to work quickly so the sun doesn't go down on me.
Okay, it's the next day, and I stripped off all the masking, and I'm doggone happy with it. It's not a show quality paint job, but it was gonna take many, 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 many hours to get all these little dimples out. And that's just blemishes from the metal, that's not orange peel. Or at least not most of it is orange peel. Had a few runs. Had a run on here that luckily is going to line up with the trim so the trim will hide it. But yeah, it's all one color now. That was the goal. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know if y'all think it turned out all right. Appreciate y'all watching. If you uh, like and subscribe, I would appreciate it. Y'all have a blessed day.